Good morning, everyone. My name is Paul Polly. I'm the media advisor for the City of Jerusalem. I'm here to talk to you this morning. My job is dealing with troublemakers. Dealing with troublemakers and then preparing the facts and the consequences to tell the people. It's a bit like dealing with the Australian cricket team. <laughs> We've had a troublemaker in our ranks for the last few months. You'd never have heard of him, but his name is Jesus. Jesus of Nazareth. He has been going around preaching and teaching, telling people stories. Some say he's been doing miracles, turning water into wine, making people walk again. We don't like that. He's had all these people following him. And you know what? He's been telling people that he's going to be the king. He's telling people that he might even be the son of God. That's wrong. That's what I think as a Jewish leader. Wrong. So we knew we had to do something about it. So we had him captured and we put him through the courts and he went to the Jewish leaders and he went to Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor, and to King Herod and they all said, you're bad. And so they had him crucified. That was on Friday. Three days later, his body is missing. Gone. I think his disciples have taken it. But they're all running around saying, he's alive, he's alive, he's alive, he's alive. He is risen from the dead. I don't think so. I've been trying to work it out because they're all running around saying, he's alive, he's alive, and I've worked it out. Because I'm smart. <laughs> Do you know what today is? What's today? Easter Sunday. I don't know what that is. What else is today? Easter Sunday. I don't know any of that stuff. But it's, it's April the 1st. <laughs> What's April the 1st? April Fool's Day. I think it's just a big April Fool's Day joke. They said that Jesus is alive. April Fool! But they keep running around saying he's alive, he's alive, he's alive. So I got sick of it, so I decided to get away from it all. So I've come here instead. I've gone on a little holiday 2,000 years away to Loxton in South Australia. What a nice town you have here. I came into town, it's all nice and beautiful, and I found this big building. And I thought I'd walk in and have a look. And there were some lovely people at the door and they welcomed me. They gave me this. <laughs> I don't know what it is. And everyone was happy and smiling, and I'm thinking, this is better than where I am, where all the troublemakers are. So I want to know, why are you so happy today? What are you excited about? What are you excited Because Jesus has risen, thank you, April Fool. You heard me say it, April Fool. Yeah, I get it, you're good. No, really, why? Why are you happy? Why are you happy? Yeah, we get that a lot. No, look, I, 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 what's this? What about this? I don't know what it is, but let's have a look. Oh, look at this. It's chocolate. Can you eat that? Can you try it? Can you try it? Can you try it? Any good? You can have it. But look, 
surely they must have given it to me for a reason. It must symbolise. So look, it's got a hole in the mint. It symbolises the tomb. What tomb? It's sim- Say it again. That Jesus risen in. So you think this is the tomb that Jesus... Oh, look, you heard me tell the story about Jesus. April Fool. I get it. I really do get it. No, like you guys are... You guys are... I shouldn't have told you the Jesus story before I asked you why you were so happy. So at least... I, look, I, I'm just going to move away here and see what else... You know, the other thing I noticed in this building is that there are butterflies everywhere. The symbol of life, but like new life. Whose new life? Jesus. Jesus' new life. You guys, they're good, aren't they? These guys are good. They. Yeah, look, April Fools, absolutely. No, see, I look, I get what you're saying, and I can't believe that you're so good at saying that it's Jesus. I'm like, that's that's really great. But you heard me talking about it, so that must be where it all came from. Because two thousand years after Jesus died, and when they were running around saying he was alive, surely they can't keep that story going for two thousand years. Surely they can't keep. Look, I came in here. And, and, I, and I heard everyone singing and whatever, and I only just told you the Jesus story, and I know you're going to sing some more songs, so I think you're going to sing a song after I finish talking, so let's see what the song is you're going to sing, because you couldn't have... <laughs> he is risen. He... Did you... That was very quick. <laughs> that, he... He has burst his three... But that's 2,000... If you really still believe what happened 2,000 years ago, that he actually did rise, that's amazing that you would just keep that story going unless it actually did mean something. And it actually was changing people's lives. That's amazing. I don't really know what that means, so I think maybe you can all go back to your seats, take a folder and colour in some pictures, and the picture is Jesus appears to Mary Magdalene. (laughs) I know Mary Magdalene. She said Jesus is alive, and you still believe that today. Do you really believe that today? Maybe it's me who's the April Fool. Do you think? How about you take one of these and go back to the seat and we'll sing the song.